I would think so. Yeah. Yeah, or um, just like a bolt of fabric, I feel. Yeah. A bolt of like a, a big roll of fabric. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting comic book haul. It's episode number 120. We're going long and strong. All right, so I stopped by Hair Pirates Books, and I picked up plenty of goodies mixed in with some comic book store items. As you can see, Harley Quinn is rotating on the left. If you guys watched It Chapter 2, that was a long movie, but it was an exciting and pretty nice horror movie. A lot of awesome special effects. So check them out. It actually featured a short preview of Birds of Prey. So yes, DC is spitting out movies. I'm kind of looking forward to Joker too. Alright, so we're going to start things out with a Star Trek Operation Assimilation number one. Supposedly a collector's item issue. Heroes for Hire. Who knows, maybe we will get an upcoming um, movie based on those. And I'm definitely waiting on the return of, uh, dang, I forgot her name. Whoever she was from, uh, you know, Luke Cage. Convergence, Justice League of America number two. Forever Evil Aftermath, we got Batman vs. Bane, this is one of those one shot. Uncanny X-Men number 500. Symmetry, number one from uh, Top Cow Image. I am sensing maybe an upcoming series about that. Howard the Duck, limited series one. And uh, why the heck did I grab this? Zombie Kane number zero, maybe that's why. Frank Cho, oh yeah, that's right. It's Frank Cho. Alright, now we have uh, Black Magic number one. I'm also sensing maybe a upcoming series based on that. I have yet to read the uh, story, but uh, sometimes you just have to trust your spider sense, you know? Multiversity, Justice Incarnate, number two, DC Comics. We have The Shadow Year One. And what's this, like a Zoro number zero? Collector's item, collector's issue inside. But it says Jack Kirby's teen... Agents. Oh, here we go. It's a flip double comic. It's pretty wicked. Bravest Warrior from a Cartoon Hangover Network or something like that. Hold on. There we go. Let me focus better. It's getting out of uh, view. Victor's Horror Compendium. Oh, by the way, it's signed right there, uh, by signed by Chuck Bardell. So it's a signature comic. We got Pinhead number one. I'm waiting on the return of Pinhead in upcoming horror movies. It's a Marvel epic comics back then, like I think it's like the late '80s or something like that, early '90s. It was another one of these uh, offshoot branches, similar to the DC's DC's Vertigo. Flintstones number one from DC. Looks like they took control of that. I think it used to be Dark Horse. We got uh, Patsy Walker, a.k.a. Hellcat number one. Teen Titans, the New 52. I, I believe that's second printing right there, though. The Forever War from a Titan Comics. Pretty awesome, wicked cover right there with awesome art. We got Iron Man and Captain America, Civil War Casualties of War. And uh, Brian Ma Michael Bendis and My Mark Bagley's Brilliant, number one from Icon Comics. Convergence number one, looks like uh, that's the new Green Lantern fighting, I don't know, who's that? Oh, maybe Earth 212 or whatever, 6066 versions of them. Here's Convergence with Justice League, number one. Oh, this is the cow issue number one. Powdered Toast Man. Man, I must have gone crazy to grab, it, grab this for the Ren Stimpy show. Here's a real nice Miss Marvel one, the initiative. We got Miss Marvel before it was she became Captain Marvel in the Avengers Endgame Infinity War a series. Fighting Spider Woman. Another part of this initiative. Number 17. I believe the initiative came after Civil War. So initiative is where 
the heroes decided to uh, go ahead with the civil war plan and just acts out that all the villains and heroes just partake in the law so they just <laughs> make it part of their agenda. I don't know how it was to explain it. Convergence number zero. Real nice cover right there. And Drax number one. I'm looking forward to Guardians of Galaxy number three. Volume three. Check it out. We have Secret Wars number two. I am kind of hoping for Beyonder as the next top villain to replace Thanos. Secret Wars. The Infinite. But here's Invincible Iron Man number 332, Sentinel's Ascendant. Here's a Secret Empire, Brave New World number one. Convergence, Speed Force number one. Infinite Crisis number one. Man, DC just loves naming the crossovers Crisis. Crisis that, Crisis this. Scar Spiders number three. You got Marvel Knight Spider Man um, number 22, the other storyline. Main Spider-Man number 35. Oh, pretty awesome one here, guys. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 492 with the first appearance of... Uh, crap, forgot who it was. But whoever... I meant to say the first appearance and origin of Digger. And it features... Um, Jeffrey, uh, Scott Campbell art, real nice. Batman, Detective Comics number 955. We have the uh, owl right there, I think. And here we have a very nice Shadowhawk Saga semi ash can cover. Got a 90s gimmick cover, metallic cover right there, and Flash number 91. Get a grip with a rare DC Universe logo. These are definitely hard to find. I suppose you use PC symbol. Features that symbol. Guys, things are starting to heat up a little bit. And features a new hero called Damage. This is Damage Angle number one from the Dark Knights Metal. Uh, Damage is one of these new characters. I'm not sure if he's villain or not, but I read the story and it seems like he is. But he has powers not as powerful as the Hulk, but it's similar. So he goes berserk. We have the Terrifics with a gimmick cover right here. Metallic. It's so awesome. Purple metallic cover. Um, kind of looking like Dr. Doom right there. But it's not because it's from DC Universe. The New Age of Heroes. And here is Oblivion Song number one from Robert Kirkman. The same creator, a writer as uh, The Walking Dead. So I read that they are making an upcoming movie based on this comic. So this is definitely heating up. The main Spider-Man number 698. I believe this is where it features Dr. Octopus dying. A main Spider-Man 656 with the new uh, Spider-Man armor. Because he was getting shot up and got hurt. So he had upgraded his armor. Justice League of America, this is old guys, number 195, it's kind of looking like an early 80s one for 60 cents. The Secret Society of Supervillains Battles of Justice League of America. And here's probably even the older one, this is a science fiction time warp from 1980, look at number 3. 8 new stories, whole bunch of good reading right there. Check it out guys, back in the early 80s I think, uh... The Super Friends was on TV, a cartoon. That was before Cartoon Network or something like that. Um, and it basically talks about, you know, the Flash, Robin, uh, Wonder Woman right there. It's part of a TV continuation cartoon. DC Comics presents Superman and Superboy number 14. The Strangers Showdown of All. They battle each other. And DC Comics presents Superman and the Metal Man number 4. That's looking like a late 70s right there. Because the cover price is like 40 cents. Commendy, the last boy on earth. 
30 cents cover is number 40. I'm, that's looking like, uh, I would say like 1975 or something like that. Daredevil Carnagized. Uh, so we know all the Venomized cover. Now they're doing like Carnagized. I got hooked on this variant cover. Oh, by the way, it's not 25 cents. This I picked up from a comic book store for 50 cents. And I removed the price sticker. And here is the Avengers uh, featuring the origin of uh, Nebola. Secret Wars 2 crossover. And you're probably asking, who are the West Coast Avengers? Who the hell are the Great Lakes Avengers? This feature the first appearance of them. It's basically a uh, weird superhero group that's based in the Great Lakes, like uh, Wisconsin, I believe. That's why it's called Great Lakes Avengers. I think that's Big Bertha, Flatman, Doorman, Mr. Immortal, and, oh crap, forgot her name, Di Dinah, something like that. Still, Star Wars number 33, this is the um, San Diego Comic Con 2017 the variant edition by Mike Mayhew. Can't believe they charged $10 probably at the Comic Con, and I grabbed it for 50 cents. That's an awesome friend right there. Check it out, guys. Luke Skywalker, the main man. Star Wars, number one, variant edition. This is the uh, 1 in 15 Luke Skywalker movie cover that was released in 2015. And yes, they were trying to sell for $13. What a jip. I grabbed it for 15 cents, baby. 50 cents, baby. 10 grand issue number two with... Autograph by Ben Templeton, I believe. For 50 cents. I bet you have probably been trying to sell it for like 5 or $10. Wasn't going to pay that. Hell no. Ghost Rider number 28 with the first parents of Lilith. This is one of those special uh, collector's items bagged with like posters or trading cards like it says right there. And I believe I have more than a few copies of that. So... You these, this is probably easy to find, so definitely grab that. And last but not least, we have the main Spider-Man number 10 featuring Disappearance Spider-Man. But it doesn't stop there because this features the very first appearance of Spider-Punk. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Until next time, happy collecting, baby.